and welcome to Richmond. We are in the Diet Dr. Pepper series in the Gen 4 and headed out for qualifying here in just a moment. About 35 cars here today and uh, I'm a little less uh, comfortable on these short tracks. Uh, here at Richmond we've definitely got a short track coming um, and we're about 10th place on speed in practice according to this. Uh, I'm just going to try to keep it steady because this thing is pretty darn hard to control out here. Your exit's clear. Don't cross the uh, I just like to keep it clean the, the best I can. Not light up the tires, which is very easy to do. First lap, I'm going to try to just be pretty stable, get the tires warmed up, and then push a little harder lap too. That's, that's my plan right now. Seems like the track has gripped up a little bit for qualifying. Maybe the temperatures went down. Oh my god. It's got major loose. It's exactly what I didn't want to do. One more lap. That was not great. Really focusing up now so I don't uh, completely blow it. Okay, had a good three and four there. That'll at least get me a decent lap. That's about what I was hoping to get. It's actually a, an all-time best for me. So, I will definitely take that. I definitely did not expect to get a front row or anything. Tenth place in practice, ninth place in qualifying right now. So, just about in line with what I was able to do. That first lap I had me worried because I, you saw I kind of fishtailed out of a, out of two and into the straightaway here. Just goes to show that it's uh, very difficult to control this thing. Gracie gets into the 21s. I do think the track got a little grippier and therefore faster. For me, it really wasn't feeling all that grippy. For me, it was like really wanting to send me all over the place. But thankfully, that second lap, I was able to do essentially the opposite of what I said I was going to do. I'll take it stable and easy lap one, and then lap two, start pushing a little harder. I kind of went the opposite. Lap one, I was all out of control. Lap two, I had to put a stable lap in because otherwise, I wasn't going to have very good lap at all. Look out for the pit do a practice pit in right there, just in case. We've had a lot of green flag pit stops in this series so far. Although, uh, that may not be the case this time. Since, uh, I imagine this could be very difficult for everybody. In fact, look at, I'm actually looking at my times. Look how consistent my times are. So at least there's that. At least I'm consistent. It's 169, 167. That is true. The cold tie is very treacherous. Got chat on in case Gavin needs to say anything, or anybody else for that matter. You've got some familiar names up there up front. Guys that are uh, really good at these short tracks. Complete, complete spin off of two on my first lap. Yeah, that's almost what I did. It's exactly where I almost ended up spinning. Nick there tied with Wesley. That's interesting. Where did Gavin end up? Gavin down there, between Grady and Timothy. I'm actually surprised Timothy's down there because he was one of the faster times in practice. He might have uh, gotten the cold tire blues. But we're just about to get started here. I'm just going to, like I said, focus on being as consistent as possible. 
I would just like to have myself a clean, safe race if I can. Short tracks are not my specialty, so... I'd love to just make it to the end. P9, not too bad, though. Starting on the inside. I think I remember the outside being surprisingly good, however. Here at Richmond. But I'll go ahead and skip warm-up for you, and uh, we'll rejoin for the race. Alright, we are back. Did a couple laps, kind of figure out what the track was feeling like in the current conditions. And we are about to grid up, ready to go. Actually, there's something I want to look at real quick, because something funny happened during the warm-up. I swear I saw somebody sitting on top of the water barrel. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, that was just my screen. So on my screen, yeah, good luck, 86 was sitting on top of the water barrel. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> it looked really funny. It must have been a net code thing. But... Good luck, guys. You'll be lining up on the inside. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny. Good luck, everybody. Alright, well, um, kind of practiced my race pace. Be be careful on full tires for restarts. Good idea. Good luck, everybody. We need to follow car number 21 in the outside lane. Good luck. So it's estimating about 84 laps of fuel, a tank. So I don't think we're going to be able to make it to halfway, but I will keep an eye on that, just in case we can, because that would be very interesting uh, if we go green all the way, to be able to make it all the way to lap 100. But otherwise, we're going to be thinking about pitting lap 66, 67. What are we breaking for? Weird stack up there. But uh, yeah, lap 66, 67, probably about when uh, is optimal to come in then. If we can't make it to halfway, which I doubt we will, we need to make it about 17 extra laps, which is pretty, pretty far, even for a short track. But you know, maybe our pace will be much slower during the race as well. We'll see. Twenty-seven blinking a little bit. That's John. Well, that sorts itself out. About to go green. Stay focused. All right, second gear start. The Tracy on the pole, getting us started. is not even really trying to, just kind of trying to be very gentle, on throttle, not spin them up or anything, trying to spin them up or heat them up, brake bias I, in I initially went down to like 60%, but it was feeling a little too unstable, so actually, oh my gosh, what is going on there? Actually moved it up to about 64%. Fastest lap. That was a 22.3. The guy behind has just done a 22.3. And uh, I'm glad I did. I think that'll be nice. Less turn in on entry, but I think it'll be okay. Why Ian's sticking it in there? That, that's fine. I'll slip go. Ah, don't worry about it, man. That's right. 
stay high. Clear. I'm just trying to take it easy. These guys can go if they want. I'm trying to be really gentle on that set of rear tires. Because we have one less set than uh, we would normally. Tire shortage. So, uh, gonna need to take care of them, and I think it's gonna really pay off anyway. Not to, uh, light the tires up for us. Side by side up ahead. Got a nice big gap behind us as well. If we can just run top 10, I'll be very happy with that. Top 10 would be fantastic. I'm not asking for too much here at Richmond. I feel like I can compete my best at the mile and a halfs and such. As for these short tracks and things, I would really just like to uh, try to get myself solid finishes, keep it clean and do my big gains elsewhere. With this old style point system, in 4 era point system, consistency is so important. I've had a couple of instances where I haven't been able to be consistent. Places like Atlanta earlier in the season where I got caught in a wreck very early. The big one at Atlanta. Stuff that hurts my overall average finish so I gotta try to work on it it's uh, as few DNFs as possible and really focus on finishing the races clean as much as I can so that's what we're hoping to do here today Gonna be real good to those, uh, to the rears. Feels okay so far. Really cool that we're still green. This, uh, combo, if I remember correctly, was a pretty big wreck fest. In the official series. I feel like, uh, the race I did might have been okay at first, and then it, like, devolved once we got a caution to constant restart wrecks. I think that's what happened. So I guess that could still technically happen to us here. Hopefully not, though. 50 off the pace. Running low for some reason. Buy him. He's going to get lots of turn in on, on entry on the braking. So I'm okay that I moved up my brake bias a little bit. It's actually still down from the default of 68, but I usually, in this car body, whether it's Arca or Gen 4, I'll put the uh, brakes all the way back just about every time. So, for me, it's forward from usual. Instead of the 60%, I'll put it in the garage. The yellow flag is Line up, single file. We're at uh, 64. That's on me. That's on me. So we got a caution. Out. Brady's calling it on himself. We're under caution. Pits are closed. What do we do? Can't take any tires, I don't think. It's too early. Is anyone else coming in? Doesn't look like it. It actually felt like we did more laps than just 16 that we're coming to the end of right now. But still just getting started in the grand scheme of things here. There will be a lucky dog. Now Gavin, didn't you learn from the truck raid? What happened? Evan learning from a truck race here. Uh, Got the lucky dog. Let them past on the Not outside. sure what's going on. 
But Tracy's still in the lead after starting pole. Mitch in second. There are two short track experts up there. I'm very, very happy with my 10th place right now. And hopefully uh, the tires are doing okay. Don't feel like I've pushed them all too hard, so... What's fuel doing? Doing a little bit of math. If we could make it to like 117, I think, then we could make it to the end. We would need more cautions, obviously, for that to happen. I went off track, tried to rejoin, went as low as I could. I wonder if he's talking about the same wreck there, or if that was a different incident, because Grady called that on, on himself. Pit road is closed right now. We're Zach's caution. talking about that. Not sure. Single file restart. So I won't have to worry about inside or outside. Got Chuck behind us. He was about two seconds behind, no longer have that gap. We'll see if he's got more tire than I do, even if I don't feel like I've used much of mine at all. This could get scary. It's pretty sketchy on throttle here. And now we've all got some somewhat worn tires. Hopefully no one has any issues. I bought a in the first one. Get ready, going green. Alright, we'll get the restarted here. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green, green flag. flag, green flag. We have a terrible start in front of us. Outside. You're not Clear outside you're if you want it. Really don't like doing that. Kind of got there without even trying to. Off and rolling once more. Avoided any big sideways moments or anything off the uh, off the corners, which I think is going to serve me well. You've just done a twenty-two point five. They're pretty bunched up up there. I'm gonna have to keep an eye out. If anything happens. Chuck hanging on behind me. Some side by side up ahead. 
two by two up there. Leave the bottom open for Chuck. He was Guy pretty high. close there. Guy high. Clear inside. What was that, Wesley? Down to the apron back there. That was a little scary. I didn't know if it was coming for me or what. Like he completely lost control. I, I had no idea for a split second. See if this uh, extra care on the rear tires is going to pay off for me. I definitely feel like I'm losing out a little bit on exits, but I'm hoping that the extra grip will do good things in the future. Since we have the caution, we'll adjust our original plan of lap 66. about 71 then I guess I decide to come in Wesley's all over us back there I'll let him go as soon as he kind of gets a run on us Still happy with that. All about just getting into the rhythm right now and uh, hitting those consistent laps. Not overdriving too much at any point, entry or exit. Side by side up ahead, I see one of them is Billy. I can't tell who the other guy is. I recognize Billy's paint scheme though. That was Pulling back away from Wesley a bit. I'm sure, his slide into the apron probably didn't do great things for his uh his tires. Almost a uh, crash there. Chuck uh, did a bit of a check up there. Not to crash a Layton. Interesting how bunched up everybody is a couple cars ahead. A lot of uh, nose to tail. Wesley's getting back to us.
Okay, on to lap 40. Getting closer to potential green flag pit stops. I don't think anybody pit that first time. So we might all still kind of be on the same strategy. Thank you. Tuck gets by him there. Good. Got traffic, the 18. Break a little early since we didn't have perfect angle into the corner. Wesley's getting a little close to my bumper. I'm a little worried. Freddy's gonna run into the back of me. Not much I can do about that though. Just hope he does that. We might be able to get around the 12 here if we can just get there at the right time. Not gonna push or anything to get there, I'm just gonna let it happen naturally if it does. Pretty much the same speed as him right now, though. Obviously. Take it down here, Chuck. Thank you. Good consistency. Keep it, sir. Maybe getting a little dicey up there. I see about three cars in about the same spot. Still around Billy. We're kind of getting closer to this big line of cars that we've been looking at. Licking some laps off. I love how many green flag laps we're getting. Almost there on his inside.
outside. Keep okay, low. Colton, that time's pretty consistent. Keep low. Clear high. Get around them, all right. Oh, God. The car outside, go high. I'm so sorry, oh, Billy, I hit the wall. Line up, single file. Pit road is closed right now. Oh, my gosh, that was crazy. Is out. Line up, single file, behind car number. Interesting five. timing. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. So this is close enough to when we were going to pit. I think we might do it. The leader, Grunowski, is pitting. Everybody's coming in, it looks like, or most people. Not everybody, though. The limit is 40 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. Pit box in 10, 5, 3, 2, 1, right here. Oh my gosh. I'm always a millimeter off from where I'm supposed to be. 83, 86. We're done. Get going. They want you in single file. Ian Sped. Oh no. That stinks. So we're going to save some fuel. We'd like to have one more stop to the end of the race, and we should be able to do that. So we're eighth place now. Actually gained a couple spots on pit road, I guess. Or we did just pass a late, and that's right. Left side tire is not too worn, 97, 94, but I wouldn't want to do two tires by any means. I would be really loose, I bet. Especially with the rear left tire being the one that's worn. It's really, really loose, I bet. Trying to save fuel. Keep having to check up, though. Tell me to let you buy you. Yep, thank you. 120... Eight, maybe. It's when we would pit again. I think we just go a little longer, though. Since that's pretty close to how much fuel we have anyway. One left to green. All right, Colton. So we'll probably go long. Still, lap. lots of race left to go here. I'm just going to take the same approach, I think. Be nice to the car and all that. Get ready, going green. The pace car is off, be ready. Green flag, green flag. You're in the top 10. Oh my gosh, got a little bit sideways. Tires are hot. Easy, easy, easy. Oh my gosh, that was scary. Okay, ease through it. Tires could still be quite hot. I really had to work the wheel there because that thing was really just trying to spin on me. Okay, we're going to take it easier into turn one this time.
That was scary. We're okay though. Nick behind us now. Something might have happened to a Leighton. He's no longer even on my relative. That was a 22.5. Might be a little bit more aggressive on throttle this time. But not much. Still don't want to be getting sideways or anything. Oh, someone in the wall up ahead. Go ahead, John. This is exactly what we need. I believe doesn't Scott have the Kevin Harvick scheme? I think so. I think he might have been the one at the wall. Thanks, sir. Don't quite have the confidence, I think, to run quite as fast as these guys are. Or the talent, apparently, because when I started this run... Ooh, ball for Chuck. Uh, when I started this run, I nearly spun it. Trying to go fast. So multiple issues there. But I'm in eighth. I'm very happy with that. I think we're going to take this tank of fuel down to about a little less than 10 laps to go before I run out. Maybe a couple of extra laps beyond that, and that's probably where we'll come in. Okay with that plan. I'm getting more of the hang of this. What the car wants to do. Of course, it's going to feel nicer with fresher tires after that longer run. Got Nick about 0.6 behind us. Oh, saw a little puff of smoke again. These guys are racing pretty hard. Hopefully they don't want to have a wreck in front of us. I don't know if I can avoid that. Oh my goodness, another one. Well, Near the front, that last run, I thought. Surprised we're catching up to him. Oh my goodness, he just got sideways on entry. 
almost caught up to him by accident. He's getting loose. Seems like he is on entry at least. Pick up there on the inside. Watch out for that. You're right here on. Scott, not quite able to get a run though. That was a 23.0. I'll let you have it into one, Ian. I appreciate it. Gives me the bottom. I didn't want to dive it in though. Trying to figure out how to get it done without just diving it in, because I, I don't like to do that. He overdrives that, though. Maybe that'll help us. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Go low. Outside, clear. Outside. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. No, I just can't get it done. Whoa, another wall hit up there. 25 that time. That's Andrew. I lane up, see if I can get a run on him. That lap was a 23.1. Outside. <sighs> Clear up top. Not turn. Frustrating, man. I can't figure it out. I feel like I don't have enough control of this car to even set something up. It's so hard to control, just in general. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Far ahead. Okay. 
think I might have to try to pass on the outside. Outside. Oh my gosh, she almost got loose into me. The lap car did. on throttle go into the wall I cannot for the life of me figure out how to get by somebody it's driving me insane Oh my gosh. It's frustrating, man. You've just done a 23.4. I can't pass low, it doesn't work. So I'm trying to find out another way to do it. The lift off because he's on the bottom. Okay, come on, this has to be it. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Oh my god, thank Christ. Jesus, that was so freaking hard. That took forever. Hopefully we can drive away. I'm pretty sure we will be able to. We're already so far away, man. We're already over. We're already about half a second. It's on me. I couldn't figure out how to pass. But it sure was frustrating. The rear tires really took a beating through all that whole process. Those three guys up ahead still pretty close to one another. Yeah, it's really hard for me to put the power down now. Compared to the first run, I was doing a great job with that, and now it's... Oh no! I think Ryan maybe got him there. Lowercase Ryan ahead of us. It looks like Phillips has been dead. I don't think I can pit right now. So tough to pass. We're under caution. It's closed. Yeah, I've noticed. Well, that high line out of three was really working. Pit road is now open. It's yeah, that guy painted his car the same color as the asphalt. I almost ran into him. Can't make it to the end. 
I think I gotta stay out. The leader, Dronowski, is pitting. Get uh, start 18, car. Everybody else pit. Car 58, got the lucky dog, let them pass. Well, I feel bad about this idea leader, now. 58, car by. You can't make it to the end. And that would leave me with one set of tires. I don't know, man. Since everybody else pit, I'm going to come in, put fuel in it, but I'm not going to put tires on it. I just, I don't know about that, man. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Watch your speed limit in the pits. We'll need to stop again. Uh, see, I, I have to come in now because everybody behind me is going to have fresh tires and it's going to run me over. I'm just going to be a hazard if I don't come in now. Right here. Are you kidding me? One millimeter back as usual. 85, 86. I guess we got on them pretty hard, but I mean, we got two sets of tires. I'm saving a set, man. That's it, go. Okay, exit closed. Exit open. Alright. Line up, single file. Catch the six, car. Pass the 28, car. Right, what's the situation here? Four course yellow, pits are open. Hmm. That's awful. I had to let the whole field go by and now I'm gonna trap lap down. Alright, Scott, let's not wreck each other again. Hmm. Are you guys behind me on fresh tires? Yeah. Alright, I saved a set, so I'm gonna make it easy for you if you guys are trying to get around. Just be aware, I'm gonna be a little slower. Yeah, I'm in no hurry, I'm just trying to get a little better at this. Yeah, same here. Just wanted to make sure you guys are aware, because I know my speed difference is probably gonna be very noticeable. Because I think... Get ready, going green. I appreciate it, cool. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. Alright. Tight car is off, be ready. We started here. Green, green, green flag, green, green flag. Low car up high. Caution, 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 caution. 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 In single file. Pit road is closed. I think like four of us went into that corner and almost looped it. Wow, okay, that was scary. I don't know. Oh, I just about done. I didn't see who it was. The Pace track just like out. lose all closed. Pace car is out. Line up single file. I felt like car three car guys zero, lose it on entry there. Yeah, I jumped on the brakes hard road road when road I seen the 14 and then when I then I locked it up. Rain in turn one. <laughs> That's funny. So we had a couple of cold tire spins there, it looks like. Have to make sure I don't do that. Please throw down the front stretch in the back field. Catch up, please. Hmm. We're getting close to be able to, able to make it. If we refill that tank up. Good thing. We keep looking, by the way. 
don't really want to give up all this position I have, though. I'm somehow still here, even though I pit the second time around. Lucky dog coming high. That was lucky for you. Yeah, I was just going to say, you get lapped in that position when the yellow flag came out. Did that put you back on the lead lap? Yeah. Hmm. If we get another quick caution, I might put some extra fuel in this thing, go to the back, and try to save to the end. Starting to get close enough where... I don't know. Got about 83 laps. On a full tank. Just normal pace. 117 is where we would need to be. Theoretically, but could save potentially a couple more laps if we tried. So we're getting close. Not quite there, though. Saving about nine laps would be a big ask. Plus, who knows? Guys with the fresh tires, they might catch up to us anyway if we're just going slow the whole run. This is a short track after all. If we get another one of those though, those quick cautions, might be what we do. Didn't quite see who was on the track. Spun. Maybe Ian was one of them? Because I remember he was up front. Ryan, maybe one of them. Alayton, Andrew? And now Andrew just got his lap back. All right, Colton. A couple yeah, of guys that are fast the back there. Alright, reminder, let's be careful on the restarts on uh, brand new tires. Didn't do that the last restart. That one was really just a toss up. Third gear starts really well. Get ready. At Going the back, down. I'm starting in fourth. <laughs> Maybe I should be starting in third. Back here. Car is off. Time to do your job. Green, green, green. green. Got about a second already back there. That's interesting. Coming up on me though. They're fresh tires, that's not surprising. Okay, Colton, the next car is 47. The lap time was at 22.6. Ooh, this thing really wants to turn on me. Getting very loose on throttle. Twenty-eight coming up on us. As I said, I'm not gonna 
bite him off too hard when he gets here. Easy on him. Low car up high. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Slow car up high. What's that about? Nick. Nick's broken. Oh no. I wonder what happened. Maybe just a big wall hit. Maybe something more. I'm not sure. P20. It's going to give out on the bottom there. He didn't look though. Easy for him. Clear inside. Car inside. Clear. Car inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Still inside. Still there. You're up top. Three wide. Three wide. Wreck him. Still there. Who put that three wide? Why? We are like in 21st right now. Still there. Oh, it's Ryan. Okay. Still there. Sense. Clear inside. Inside. P24. The lock time was 33.5. Thank hey, you, Dick. I have the feeling Nick is talking about Lurk. Judging by the three wide thing and some issues in the past, but I apologize if not. I don't know yet. Son, I'm trying to be careful, but you're really laggy, man. Trying to get a latent bias. Outside. Did not expect him to move to the outside there. Still I would have given him the inside on. if he had just motioned toward it. Car right. Let these guys by. Not really trying to fight. Keep low. Clear outside if you want to. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Still there. Clear outside if you want it. Okay. B27. Whoa, some wiggly stuff going on up there in front of us. We're getting caught by the leader. Let Rick by. Just, just gotta get a run on me. I don't want to just lift off on the straightaway or anything. See how this works. These old tires of mine. Car 
Inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear yeah. inside. At the bottom there. I guess he couldn't stick it. The little line. Done. Would love to not go a lap down. I'm gonna just have to go long. It's not looking great for me right now, but I still kind of feel Thank like you. it was way too early to take the second of third sets of tires. Yeah, no problem. Probably full of nonsense. Didn't just I just didn't think about it the right way, but. If I'm a lap down, that's not going to help matters. The car in front of us is now hurting. How this all works out. I'm probably gonna really regret not pitting with everybody else. Come by me. Wasting too much time. He doesn't do it though. Really trying to let him buy me so we stop wasting time going side by side. Keeping an eye on Tracy back there catching us. Nobody should be able to make it to the end. So we're just gonna have to go long, I guess. Oh my goodness. Catch your caution. Nick has left. That sucks. Sneezed into the mic. <laughs> this is two seconds back. It'd be interesting to see when they start pitting. Okay, Colton, the next About 150, you would assume. And the caution. Alright. Oh, what is that? <laughs> I no idea what that was. I think someone's transforming. Alright, so it's time to make the ultimate decision. What do we do? Take the tires. I got an extra set. This is what I needed. I forgot how many tire sets do we have? Three on the wall. Really need to go here so I don't go a lap down when I'm trying to pit. We all should have done what Colton did. I 
Could have turned out pretty bad for me though. I mean, it's hard to say. I was pretty close to going a lap down. Watch your speed. When I pass Colton, you know it's bad. Pit box team ten. I don't know. You do that plenty in the dirt racing series. Five, three, two, on pavement. One. <laughs> right here. Seventy-three, seventy-six. We got our tires on the car. Rose. Gonna go lap down. Find out. Okay, go. So we really need another caution if we want this to pay off. Yeah, yeah, I did. I had a car in that final. I'm tracking my feet. Good on fuel to the end now. Everyone else is out of tires. Oh, that's, that's, I've been that took tires there. Yes, yeah, same this race actually. It's our open. Seventy three seventy six are my tires. I've been on those for quite a while. So what we need is another caution. Late. How many minutes take tires up front? About seven. Eighty six. Seven people on seven people up front that didn't take tires. Yeah, I'm just curious about the speed differential. Yeah, this really changes the whole complexion of this race. I knew we weren't going to go green to the end. There's no way. Wait, we're restarting on old tires and cold tires. Down, you started that third gear. So now what I have to do, stay out of trouble. Keep it uh, steady. Pass some guys if I can, in case this does go green to the end. It's interesting the guys up front that stayed out because they can't make it on fuel. They sacrifice potential having to pit late, so that's really curious. Like I don't think there's any way they can make it on fuel. Of course, yellow pits are open. One left to green. Maybe they came in and got fuel and just didn't take tires. I'm not sure what they did. I didn't quite see. I was too far back. But the biggest thing for me right now is to stay out of trouble, and then if the, another yellow comes out then it might look pretty good for me. I need this to go long enough that I can pass those guys that didn't pit. But short enough that we get a caution that <laughs> can help my extra set of tires pay off. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Outside. Outside is clear. Car outside. Stay low. Stay low. He's got Car some damage outside. up there. Clear outside if you want it. These guys are getting loose up here. It's pretty scary. That mark was at 22.4. Oh, yeah. Just wait for things to even out because I don't want to go three wide. Too dangerous. Like I said, gonna just have to keep it safe for now. I don't want that tire plan to work out. Clear. 
is kind of blocked right now by what's going on ahead. Outside. Still there, hold your line. I'll get you into one, Ian. Oh, he's going to the wall. Oh my gosh, I thought for sure he was going to take a piece of the wall out. Car inside, clear inside. Oh my gosh. Fly right in front of me. Car outside, car outside. Go low, clear outside if you want it. Oh boy. Things happening all around me. That was scary. It in unless it looks like he was going to give it to me. Clear outside if you want it. And a yellow. That's too soon. I think. Too soon, I think. I'm gonna stay out still. Tires still feel pretty good. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car number. On P15, we've got some people that are probably gonna pit. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not up front. Pit road open. As you do still have tires. Pace car going up three. Can you speed up, please? Halfway home. Should be about 24 minutes of fuel left. My left set of tires, man. I don't want to wear them up. More guys going to the pits. Very interesting how this is working out. I still have a set. Five. Not sure what position that's going to put me in, then. Happy I avoided whatever that half wreck was during that run. Someone kind of got pinned into the wall, it looked like, maybe. I just took hard left and made sure I gave as much space as possible to not be involved in that. Are open. So we're P11 now. Still not, no idea what the tire situation is for the guys up front. Because even on Race Lab it says 141 and stuff. Like, I don't know if guys came and took fuel only, for example. Ryan's got some damage there. I think I saw something on Bryce's car, even. Maybe on the left side? No, actually, his car looks pretty good. I know some other guys have some damage up there. Lots of guys have a little bit. 
from wall hits or whatnot. I wonder how much of a buffer we have for guys with fresh tires. Tracy's in 17th, so six cars back. That's not too much, but it's also... Tracy and Mitch, are you guys on new tires? Single file. So. They might not want to. Yeah, they are, I think. They might not want to give away the strategy right. if they took no tires. I'm sure they did, though. Alright, one to green. Hopefully we get ourselves a good restart. One left to green. Okay, Colton, get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. The tires aren't new, but they're new-ish. Haven't used them too much. Just to let you know, John, you are blinking a little bit. He's been having his connection issues the whole time, I think. No, I can't be. I'm going to try to stay out of your guys' way because I'm still on old tires. Still on old tires, some guys are. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green, green, green. green. Keep it up. Doing a really good job. Car outside. Stay low. Keep low. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Right. Hold it together. Outside is clear. You're in the top ten. In the top ten. Very happy with that. Don't run in the back, John. Alright, moving forward. Okay, Colton, the next car is Roberts. Seventh position. Seventh position, we got more guys with old tires up ahead. Easy now, getting sideways on throttle. I tried to set something up there, it didn't really turn down how I needed it to though. Bottom open for me. Go ahead, get over there, hold your line. Clear it's high. a run on the high side though. Thank you. Outside. Still there. Clear outside if you want it. Oh, he breaks early. That's right.
Ахмаров Давлетов. I had to set up a pass there, but then Billy started threatening to be on the inside. You've just done a 22.9. Not want to hear that. Oh my god. 24 is always right in front of me. Well, pass us. We kind of have to hope for another caution if we want to win. Still feeling pretty good position wise. I think Gavin's the next guy on fresh tires coming up on us. He's behind us now. I'm not giving away freebies though. <laughs> I need guys to use up their tires. Sorry. Okay, Colton, the next car is Plus, it's not too much longer to the end of this race. About 23 just, uh, laps, I think. Just was able to glance at it a second ago. Made him work for it a little bit, but he had it. Fresh tires make such a big difference on that low side, especially. Next guy on fresh tires is Scott. He's behind Billy, who's directly behind us. I think we need a caution right about now. It's going to pay off for us to have that extra set. So we need to have the time to move back forward as well. Oh! Oh, Tracy! Into the wall! Oh, Tracy, I was trying to give it to you. Yikes. 
Yikes, yikes, that's not good. I got tight, but I was hoping you'd see that, but there's other guys. That's no good for him. to go. Face is coming back. Ooh, Scott loose up ahead, trying to get around Ian. down to the end of this thing. I don't even know if we have enough laps left that I would want to pit, even if we could at this point. There's too many people in the lead lap still. Ooh, this is intense. We might be able to get around Ian, but it's going to be really hard. We can barely go full throttle down the back stretch at this point. This is tight racing. Can't feel my hands. Oh man, they're kind of three wide right up in front of us. Finally got us. Oh no! Caution, yellow flag. 
Oh, I drove it over my head. I'm sorry. It's too late for us to pit now. Is it over even? Yeah. Might be over. I just pit so close. I, I forgot my, my tires are hot and I, I just didn't get slowed down. I didn't change my braking point to adjust my tires. Well, like it's 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 might be over now. Well, Colton, you can put on that last set of tires now. I don't know about that idea. I don't think I'd be able to get anywhere with them before it'd be over. I'm just giving you crap. <laughs> Gotta pull the dice. Pull the hole. I'll be driving around the track while everyone's gone home. <laughs> I was going to be really upset about the uh, race on the minor yellow, but then I got the box on uh, Jordan to give me a top ten anyway. Oh boy, that was really intense. I'm still happy with my. I thought the one lap shoot out of here, but I think the lucky dog going like that ended up. I think it would have to be two to green right now, maybe. Yeah, yeah late. I was trying to follow you, but uh, yeah, I fell back too far. Good one, Mitch. Sorry about it, you hard there, but. I couldn't just lay over at the end here. Yeah, that'd be at the end. No, you're good, dude. That was a lot of fun. I was digging as hard as I could to get to you. I didn't know if I'd have enough time. You even with like a 15 lap tire advantage pack. I think that still wor challenge. worked out really well for me. Because I was running about 11. Oh, yeah. Yeah, great win. That was a great final run. That battle through the field was insane. Good race overall, we had some good long runs. Really tough to pass. I hate the contact in these cars. We locked to my right rear and we just couldn't get off each other. I, that's why I choose not to pitch that hard in these cars though. Just bad contact. You've got two laps to go. Yeah, I mean, Tracy, I, I was like, I was just letting you go. And then we just made a little bit of contact and that was it. Keep going. Yeah, I'm already in the arena, it's just fine. I can do it in the arena. Get hooked with that. I got lucky even like... The fact we can have bad. that good of a race in these cars is a miracle. Because you can't even touch each other with these car bodies. And it's a short track, so... So that'll be the end of it. We get P8. I'm thrilled, honestly. I'm still happy with the the strategy I went with. I think I probably would have finished like 11th, 12th, if that. I feel like I finished just a little bit better than I would have otherwise. Yeah, I was curious what kind of pitch strategy might show up with the with about a hundred to go. The yellow around one forty was a big gamble on whether to pit or not. Pace car is out, pits are closed. All right, we will cross the line. Oh, sorry again for making that another caution. I just forgot the break. He ate. That race is a long, a lot of fun. Safe place to go. All right, let's check it out. Yeah, great race. A lot of good battles in the Left up, 85. Carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. Good job. Great race, it was fun. 57. Car, catch up, 71. Thanks, guys. A lot of fun. Alright, your finishing results. I gained one spot from where I started. Final sets yeah, of tires were at 8183. Mitch gets the win. Gavin gets P3. Very nice run. Yeah, it's it's going to be interesting to see where we are in the point standings after this, because he was behind me just a tiny bit. A green flag stop, so that would have been nice. <clears throat>
We're in an excellent run with a P4. Somebody would have pushed it too far and coughed a yellow. That was, <laughs> that was during practice, the warm-up. <laughs> I was surprised that uh, well, I was not sure how to handle the three wide there. Almost got up in the nick, but that didn't matter because that was warm-up. <laughs> in case you're wondering, like, when did that happen? We'll take a look at the incidents here. Just got to go back 200 laps to do so. Brad Nick, good win. Some contact here, lap four. I don't think the eight expected Dan to be taking the second loan. Zach getting the wall there. I think that he said these he had not been to Richmond before, maybe. And this is a very tough car to be introduced to Richmond in, so. Very brave of him to enter here. That's some courage. Oh, this? Okay. This is when he said he got loose, ended up in the grass, and then that's him down low and slow. Okay, and then this is what happened. Okay. So he's just way off the pace down there on the racing line. Yeah, that's bound to happen. I think if you're going that slow, you just gotta go below the apron. Maybe he was trying, I don't know. But just sitting on the racing line that slow is not a good place to be. Mitch apologizing for a, a door hit. I don't even remember it, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, I remember us racing hard. And uh, like I said, you know, hard racing at a, at a critical time. That was, you know, for the win, essentially. So I totally understand that. Like I said, I didn't even remember it. He was just doing what he needed to do and... Not like he wrecked me or anything. I was uh, on older tires. Of course he was going to pass me. And yet I still made the decision to uh, fight a little bit. So, you know, that's my decision too. To reciprocate the hard racing. 25. That's Andrew. Just tiny tap of Billy. Whoa. Just barely able to avoid the, uh, the water barrels. That could have been worse for him, for sure. I remember that happened right in front of me. Layton, this is uh, on that restart, I think, where multiple people maybe got sideways? Or maybe this is a different time. I think this was a different time. There was a restart where apparently multiple people got sideways. Which might be uh, funny to see. Whoa. Almost a uh, bumper hit. Moving along. About halfway through the race now. Ryan pinching Andrew a little bit. Sends him around, it looks like. Yeah, you can see, like, second lane here. I'll usually look at the white lines. You could also alternatively look at this crease in the track. But uh, lowercase Ryan going a little extra aggressive with the pinch and ends up running into uh, Andrew, spinning him around. That was a caution there. I'm not sure why we're seeing that. Just a cone being hit. Here's the restart. Where multiple people spawn, right? Maybe not. 
Maybe not. <laughs> I'm waiting for it, but we're just getting a lot of people doing the same thing. Very understandable, because... Whoa! Okay, maybe this was that restart. Let's see, what lap was it? 104. Maybe this was the restart where it happened. But, uh... Overcase Ryan spins around, then Ian, same thing. Rain in turn one, as Gavin said. <laughs> and uh, we're under caution once more. 18 getting the wall. Okay, no, the five. It wasn't lowercase Ryan. It was the five that Nick had an issue with. Yep. The vibe just doesn't turn in. He just completely overdrives it, I guess, and then shoves Nick up and into the wall. Bryce says five got karma. Uh-oh. I guess that was it. So he gets, uh, the five gets loose on the straightaway, and that puts him right into Billy's path. No way for him to react to that in time. And, uh, five gets it pretty bad. Long, oh, we got a three wide. I remember this right in front of me. Me being very nervous about what I'm seeing. And then uh, as I'm trying to follow the M&Ms, they get into the wall. And then Hook slants. And you see I make a dramatic move to the bottom. And then Lance gets the wall. Oh, Rick on the straightaway. Of all straightaways, to do that, this is absolutely the most understandable one. Because even in something like the trucks or something like modern NASCAR, that can happen. So with this car and how much power it has, yeah, totally understandable. Lucky I didn't do it myself. So, not sure what we're seeing here or why. It's just finished, I guess, and running into things. Is this the door? Ooh! Tracy diving it in on Mitch as they're trying to go by me. That was pretty dangerous, but it worked out. Yeah, I'm not even getting a three wide call most of that time, I don't think. I don't remember being three wide all that all that long but it, it works out I'm assuming the door hit Mitch was talking about must have been probably right here I mean it's the slightest of things he doesn't have to feel bad about that he was obviously faster and basically racing for the win I don't I still don't even see it maybe that was it on that code Nah, he's got nothing to apologize for. I was the one being annoying and uh, racing the true leaders. Although I still had a chance at that time with the late caution. I was fighting the guys that uh, had the best chance at the time. Rick on the uh, transition to the apron, getting sideways. Mm, that's what happened to Tracy. So Jordan's letting him go, he says. Tracy just overdrove it into there. And uh, I'm sure Jordan didn't even see that he was drifting up. Tracy, Tracy just overdrove it. He was probably just trying to get every little bit out of it he could so he could try to catch Mitch. So that wasn't on Jordan at all. He was trying to be, trying to be helpful. <laughs> The wiggles on the back straight. Five blinking. 
Jordan gets into the back of Warren, I think that is. That one is on Jordan. <laughs> Thankfully, Warren didn't get sent around. I think that's one of Warren's best finishes. So that's really cool. I'm glad he didn't get taken out there. And uh, this caution ended the race. And uh, gave us a spot at the end, even. And uh, that should do it. Just going to get a couple guys uh, goofing around slash celebrating. There it is, the celebration for Mitch. In his Kevin Harvick Reese's car. So, well done to him. And I'm feeling good about my finish. Like I said, the uh, even though the strategy didn't work exactly how I planned, necessarily, I'm still very happy with how it worked out. Because it put me off strategy. It got me ahead of some guys at one point. And much easier to hold them off than to try to overtake. So, I'll definitely take that. And uh, I'm happy with how it turned out. So, here are your results. Mitch gets the win and the fastest lap for some extra bonus points. I lead one lap because of my strategy. Another benefit to how I went about all that. So, with that lap led... I'll get some bonus points as well. You can see here, 147. I actually get one more point than Ian, even though I finished one spot behind him. So that's pretty cool. Most laps led, probably Mitch right there, looks like, yes. And the rest of your field, Nick, unfortunately, as you saw, got uh, sent into the wall. Not a great day for him. I didn't see what happened to... John. I don't remember if I saw what happened to John, but he's back here. Interestingly enough. Huh. I didn't see what happened to him, but... I got a P8, so I'm feeling very good about that. And we will go ahead and quickly move on over to the league standings. And that'll be the last thing that we look at before I wrap up here. We'll see if we're still holding that lead, or if Gavin has overtaken us, or if somebody else has uh, gone ahead and taken the lead from us both. Right now, it's looking like, if I can get this to work, here we go. Usually that is harder on me than, you, <laughs> than that. Gavin has taken the lead back, just barely though, six points. But with a very solid P3 finish there, he'll take it back. We're having ourselves a pretty good battle so far. Ian has a great run back there. About 100 points back to me. 109 to be specific. Right? I'm not sounding dumb? I think so. <laughs> Maybe I'm sounding dumb. But no, 109. Uh, Tracy back there in fourth. And a Leighton in fifth. So, I am no longer in the lead, but feeling okay anyway, especially because I got P8 at a short track, and I will take that anytime. Never going to hear a complaint from me about that. And uh, that'll do it for this one. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.